What's happening everyone? Matt here. The voice for the Divine Masculine. And there's something really important going on with all of us that I'd like to piece together as it's all written in the sky and is what I saw earlier this evening as I came home to my apartment and looked and had I guess you could say sort of a revelation so yesterday I spoke of how the divine masculine DM uh, needs to or, or anyone to take some time to look within and uh, figure out exactly who we are, who, what we want. And I really like what Nikki had to say in her earlier video today about how, um, you know, we're, we're logical. We're very logical minded. The male mind has always been, you know, that logical uh, mind and you know, we're, we're trying to learn how to integrate following our heart and intuition more often, which the, uh, the feminine divine or females in general have ingrained in them and your spirit and how you view the world, which leads me to this particular image here on, uh, of okay yeah I know I'm rambling and thank you for uh, for uh, staying here with me as I put the pieces together so if you look here we have the constellation telescopium okay and that's pretty self-explanatory uh, and if we look at where it's directed towards Okay, there's this big bright star there and it's separated by or prefaced by this incredible light now this star actually happens to be the planet Venus which is always been considered the, the feminine planet and this light here is actually the center of the Mil Milky Way uh, the ecliptic or whatever whatever that's called and uh, so it's almost like there's uh, let me continue going here and you'll see a little bit more of what I'm saying so right now we're we're looking into uh, looking into our hearts and looking into that feminine side of us okay now as we saw the telescope looking towards Venus this is what I saw in the sky earlier it was half moon lit up on the side of Venus now Mars the masculine planet which it has always been represented as the red planet and Venus being the purple planet okay uh, we have this light coming from Venus towards the moon and Mars heading towards it and it's not quite full yet the moon like Mars is it's like we're halfway there and we're in Sagittarius this who's got these wings of an angel and and anyway so <laughs> it's just wild um, now I'm going to go ahead and press play here because this is sort of Oh, am I going backwards? I'm going backwards in time. I guess we can go back in time. Did you know that? Okay, let's let's go forwards here. All 
Okay, so. I'd like you to just watch as we come through. Okay. So this is 9 o'clock tonight, okay? Venus has gone down. Uh, I've really whacked things up here. See, this is what the mail is... The, the, this is what we're going through right now. We, in our minds, we are doing just fine, but then when we try and get out what we have really deep within out to the world it there's communication issues things are getting jumbled and it's like you don't know what to say and what we have to do is just let ourselves flow and that's the whole point here that I'm trying to say actually so as we begin to look into ourselves and once again which is like I said we're looking directly at our hearts we're looking at directly at our feminine side we're uh, but we don't even realize it's our feminine side it's just this energy that's coming to us um, you know and even me I've always thought I was you know kind of you know sensitive and understood uh, you know that aspect of myself but no I have I probably just as clueless as all of the rest so but that's what this is here Scorpius now Scorpius is the scorpion it's it's like this you know it's an evil kind of uh, it's coming to get you and you know it's that aspect of ourselves that we've always as a collective male consciousness have been told that we have to sort of kill any sort of emotion that we feel you know because it's just not right in society but we're starting to say like you know F society, what they think, and not in an aggressive way, but in an embracing of ourselves way, which really makes uh, this constellation of where Mars is just about entering and where the moon is very profound, Sagittarius, as he's got an arrow. And he's on a horse. And if you've been watching, then you'll know that the horse has been pretty significant coming up lately. And he's got an arrow. And he's crossing, saying, no, no, no. Hey, you're trying to get into that light and bite it and eat it up. But no, that's not going to happen because you're dead. All right. And I got Saturn on my side that's going to help me. And, okay, now I'm just flying all over space and trying to find, find Venus again. But, let's see here. As you can see also, here's the sun. And that scorpion is trying to eat the sun. He's trying to bite the light. I have no idea what Zubin Skalamali is, but I won't go there. But Mercury, the messenger, okay? The messenger planet. It's like he's heading towards the sun. He's our little messenger saying to the light, hey, hey, we need some help. You know, all of us. Because right now, it's like, uh-oh. Venus is, uh... Venus is a little lost here. Let's try and, uh... Find her again. But Sagittarius is going to take care of that. Of removing that part of ourself which we have always kept under wraps because it was felt to be 
Man, once again, I am all over the place, but there's got to be a reason for me doing this. And, uh, I could fly around the sky all night if I, if I could. But the main point that I'd like to point out here is that, I guess, yeah, we're still looking. But, you know, as time goes on... And, and, and some days pass, okay? Tomorrow at noon time, who knows where we are? But once on the seventh, we keep going into the evening. And we come to where we are. And if we look around, oh, look, there's Venus. And here is Mars. And now look, Mars has now gotten closer to Venus. The moon has done its job it continues to do its job is moving further away oh. and it's getting brighter and at the same time as Sagittarius has got his arrow We've got the man and the horse also sending his power towards Mars and Sagittarius to give it, to give us what we need so that Venus can cross this divide and so can Mars and yeah so that was my my little uh, revelation there earlier today uh, I know I have rambled on this forever but I hope you've tried to uh, I hope I've been able to uh, provide some some insight um, as to me it was very profound and there's one other thing that I think would be pretty cool to share about uh, when I went to the store I just went for some cereal okay and Lucky Charms just happened to be on sale two for one alright and uh, you know look at we got we got this uh, like really really happy dude who is this magical creature who is holding the rainbow and we have on one side a, a purple marshmallow Venus and we have a red heart Mars and all sort of things that we have to go through like a half moon half light so one is sending one to the other but at the same time still connected and then if I look at the box here I thought this was pretty interesting these are two for one and uh, each one has 11 whole grains and look we're on a journey now, how do we uh, get there? Well, we be responsible. We have to be committed to sustainable source 100% of our cereal boxes by 2020. So, you know, the universe speaks through regular stuff like this. So this is telling us like we have to be individuals of ourselves. We have to be 100% individual, little, 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 individually sustainable in order 
to be as much as we can so that we can give back. So, that's why Lucky Charms has whole grain as the first ingredient. Basically, we must be whole as an individual first and foremost. And we can't have any BS from the world of illusion within us. We must have purged all of that and let it go so that there is no no artificial flavor to us and then we need to be giving we need to make sure that we have a sweetness to everything that we do and uh, I don't know what gluten free is this may be uh, something you know I don't know but you can learn more at generalmills.com but I thought that was kind of profound. And look, there's a character inside each one of us. We just got to find it. And right now we're at a half moon. Here is Mars, the darkness right now of the moon, the red planet. But the right side is lit up and has the music we need to listen to so we're paying attention and I always think back to the dark side of the moon it's my favorite album and you know it's almost like uh, it's only by listening to that album and understanding how we're all on the dark side of the moon no matter who we are is the way that we're going to eventually be a full moon which is 100% divine white light and is all color and all music and we are all and all is one and one more message that needs to be shared I know it's on the bottom of the box and you gotta look really closely to remember this. Today, time is on your side. So take an extra minute and do something nice for a friend. Time is on our side, this side of the veil. So, that's it. Thank you. And good night, good luck, and have a pleasant tomorrow. Take good care. Bye-bye.